What up Instagram and YouTube, it's your boy Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with an ill-prepared knife discussion video. I asked you guys to drop the comments and give me some, some critique and tell me what I should do. A lot of you said top five. What's Salty Red Corn's top five EDC knives, right? So I'm gonna cover that. First, one I wanna talk about is the CRKT Foltz Minimalist. I've done a video on this, but this is a knife that I carry every day. It stays on my belt right here. I'll show you guys, I'll step back. This knife stays right here, right here on my belt every single day. I use this knife for anything I don't wanna put my folder through, scraping paint, scraping windows, cutting wire, whatever I need to do that's like kinda of hardcore, that I don't need to, a big fixed blade that I'm not camping for, right? So CRKT Foltz Minimalist. This one is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. It's in D2. I prefer this one over all the other ones that they have besides the Customs. The Customs, man, I really want one one day. But this one's in D2 and I trust D2 and I love D2. So this is the one that I trust and this I carry every day no matter what. What's another knife that I like? <clears throat> so if I'm gonna carry a full size folder, this one's my ride or die right spider co paramilitary 2 this one's in maximate i have bronze handles on it i like the added weight i like the feeling of the i like the warmness of natural uh, materials and bronze gives me a really warm feeling right i really like bronze i grew up working on boats and and some other stuff bronze really holds a place in my heart i love bronze i have a titanium clip this was the work of, of God. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, right? It looks like a beautiful, beautiful sun rising over the clouds. And that was a random, that was a random anno that I did on this clip. And it just, I said, man, that was definitely the work of God. What a beautiful piece. And I love that. And that makes this knife that much more special to me, right? So I like this knife because it's a common knife and for good reason it's very useful i find the blade shape to be excellent i love maxim it's steel it's one of my favorite uh blade steels that's going to be another video coming up soon but uh yeah maxim it does a trick i love compression locks i know you guys know i'm a big fan of spider goes and they just call to me right a lot of people have their preference and, and spider code just calls to me i like all the r d work they do I like how the designs are thought out. I like how they've been refining their designs over the past 25, 30 years or whatever they've been doing. Uh, this is a really good design. I think it's probably roughly 20 years old now and I absolutely love it. So this is my one of my ride or die folders. This is my ride or die folder. If I needed to grab one folder, it's gonna be this one, right? So you don't always need to carry a full size folder well may, i don't always need to i don't know what your needs are comment down below and tell me what you guys like to carry but another spider co right this is the little native this model's in rex 45 i swapped out some titanium handles for it and why do i love this tiny little knife because it's a workhorse in a small package it's like a mini mule okay the ergos on this are magic. Spider Co is very, very good with ergos, and their native lineup is one of the best ergonomic knife lines in existence, in my personal opinion. All right, I have big, big hands. I have told you guys that before, and this knife works for me. It really, really works for me. The blade shape is useful. The blade steel is Rex 45. I love Rex 45. It's super, super cool holds an edge like you would not believe and it's just a very capable steel and this is a very capable knife if i'm on a light day or maybe i'm going to the beach or maybe i'm going somewhere where i'm wearing some light shorts or whatever it's really hot this is the one i'm reaching for again compression lock just one of my favorites i love the wire clip very minimalist my wife has swapped hers out for a big titanium clip, but I'm a big fan of this minimalist clip, okay? So that's my small EDC folder preference. This is my 
ride or die EDC preference for a small folding knife. All right. Now, some of you guys are asking, bring out the fixed blades. Well, I don't have a lot of fixed blades right now. I have a lot of fixed blades that are I have my eye on. Um, I just I don't know what my my I don't know what my fixed blade needs are. All right, I have a 10 acre ranch here, and I do a lot of work on this ranch. Um, and I really just don't know what my needs as far as EDC fixed blades go. I know that I like to carry scout style in the back if it's going to be a larger knife. I'm leaning towards something in the five, uh, the four to five inch blade length range. Um, I do have a fixed blade knife that I actually use for now. Um, believe it or not, it's another Spyderco. Um, I stole this sheath from another knife, uh, a knife that my grandfather gave me. It's a Timber Rattler Pakistan knife. I really like the sheath and this, uh, it kind of fits my blade shape pretty good. So that's what I'm rocking for now. I'm eventually going to make a different one and I am going to make handle scales for this knife, but this is the Spyderco Mule Team. All right. This knife was, this knife line was developed so that knife junkies, steel junkies, specifically Spyderco steel junkies can test out all the different types of steel without getting into a super expensive folder, right? These knives, I think they originally were like $50. I think the price has gone up to about $75. They don't release a whole lot. I actually paid a person a little bit more than that for this on eBay because it was a blade steel that I really wanted to try and it was no longer available. So you guys know how that goes. This is Micro Melt PD1, right? This is essentially crew wear in a different, just with a different name, okay? And I wanted to try out crew wear and I really like this blade steel. Some of the things that I don't like about this knife, I don't like this big hump here. You know, I'm kind of getting the same vibes as uh, my pair of three if you guys watch the skinny mod. I'm thinking that I'm going to end up doing something very similar to that when I make scales. I prefer a neutral handle shape and this doesn't give me that option. This kind of forces me to have this big hump here and it's uncomfortable for me right but this knife is very very sturdy it's not like you're not camp this isn't a good camp knife this isn't a bushcraft knife this is an edc fixed blade right this is going to do what your folder does but just it's going to be a little bit more robust all right you don't have any moving parts to break or anything like that but as far as blade stock it's going to be very similar to some of your other folding knives right as you can see there's not a whole lot of difference between these two they're almost exactly, exactly the same, all right? So this is gonna be my fixed blade of choice only because it's pretty much the only fixed blade that I have worth talking about, all right? And I do think it's a good knife. I do think it needs some modification to fit me well. And I also think that I do need to get into a more robust knife, something that I can use to cut wood or chop or something like that. And after uh, joining in with Scab and Donnie B and Grugs and some of these other guys and talking, I'm into it. I'm into it. I have the place. I'm into a bigger fixed blade knife, and, and you guys are going to see something soon. I'm going to have an update for you, right? What else? What else? This is something I carry all the time. I think every person should carry some sort of swiss army knife multi-tool whatever you want to call this thing this one happens to be a mkm malga and the reason that i like this one in particular is because it's not pinned together it's got micarta scales and it's got screw hardware okay this is torx hardware and also the main blade on this knife is m390 so you're going to get really good edge retention and you're going to get some good corrosion resistance and mkm has done this m390 really really well and the knife in general is done really well another thing i like about this one is it's got a fork and yes i use this fork i eat macaroni and cheese and all type of stuff with this fork right 
excellent fork. You know, can opener, flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, and some of your standard stuff. We got an awl and we have a corkscrew. The corkscrew is useless to me. I don't drink um, alcohol at all, but I've used, <laughs> I've used this to open several bottles of wine for other people. So it's not 100% useless, but I would prefer a Phillips head screwdriver here. And I might mod that to make that happen in the future. The reason that I have this one personally over a uh, regular Victorinox, I do carry Victorinoxes. I have one for my grandfather that I love. And I have one that I found somewhere that I actually love as well, right? That one's got scissors. It's a 91 millimeter. But this one I prefer because it's got an upgraded blade steel. It's a little bit more stylish and... I'm a big fan of micarta. I think, uh, you know, it goes back to me liking natural materials, and micarta is an excellent natural material. So, before I finish up, I think I want to talk about a watch, too. This is a Richard Legrand Odyssey Mark II. Odyssey? I don't remember which mark it is, but it's a dive watch, all right? This, this watch is super, super used. I know some of you watch guys are going to cringe when you see my smashed up uh, sapphire bezel and say, why? Why salty red corn? Well, because I like watches. And, you know, depending on how you think about things, a watch can say a lot about you as a person. I think watches are great tools. You know, before we had phones in our pockets, we were looking at watches. I know some of you guys are forgetting about that, but... A watch is a great, great tool, especially an automatic watch because you're not going to have to change the battery. It's pretty much going to run forever. You're going to have to get it serviced here and there. Now, I know that's not knife related, but it's one of my favorite things to carry. It goes right along with all my other stuff. I carry flashlight, a little flashlight, but I'm not going to talk about that now. But I think it's important to mention a watch, all right? So those are my top five EDC knife picks, and I hope you guys like this, and Please tell me in the comments down below what you guys like to carry. What are some of your top fives? What do you prefer? Also, give me some suggestions for fixed blades, right? Some suggestions for fixed blades for salty red corn. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. If you guys like this kind of video, smash the like button. Subscribe to your boy. Go check me out on Instagram. I got a giveaway going on right now. You can go check out the rules for that and enter. I love all you guys. Thank you very much. Salty Red Corn out.